Hello everyone, Mr. Melham here, and today we're going to be talking about light. In particular, we're going to be discussing various sources of light that exist around us. It's an introductory lesson. Without question, light is the most essential factor for life on Earth to exist. Without it, plants wouldn't be able to grow, which means they wouldn't be able to make us oxygen to breathe, they wouldn't be able to feed us, as well as feed the animals that many of us depend on for food. In its most basic form, light allows us to see, and without light, it is impossible to see see anything at all. But where does light come from? Just take a look around you. If you do, you will probably find many sources of light. For example, I look around me in this room here. I've got a light source two feet away from me here. I've got another blue light there. I've got a lamp back here. I've got a computer light here. I've got even my Wi-Fi router. I've got this light down there, which is hard to see. I don't even know what it does. I've got lights uh, on my mouse here. I've got a computer mouse. It's lighting up. I've got a lamp back there. There's light sources all around me. But what is a light source? How do we define light source? Sources of light include anything that can make its own light. How do you know something is able to make its own light? Just put it in a dark room and see if it's able to light up the room on its own. Sources of light are able to create their own light. Our largest and most important source of light, without question, is the sun. At 150 million kilometers away from the earth, we rely on the sun to continuously generate us light inside of its giant inferno that's located in the heart of its core. And without the sun acting as our main source of light, life on earth would not have been possible. But there are other examples of light emitting objects around us. For example, we have incandescent light bulbs. Those are the old fashioned light bulbs that you screw into your lamps. We've got LED lights. We have fires that can often devastate forests. Those make a lot of light. Or even fires and items like matches and candles. And don't forget those spectacular displays of light during a thunderstorm. There's also glow in the dark toys and glow sticks, fireworks. And sometimes if you look up into the night sky, you might might catch one of the most absolutely breathtaking light shows courtesy of the Northern Lights or the Southern Lights if you live south of the equator. There's also another source of light that you're probably not even thinking of and that's your device screen. All of these examples act as sources of light because they make their own light and then they emit it back at you. So when the sun goes down and it gets really dark outside, we often choose one of these options as a source of light. For example, we can flick on a light switch or plug in a night light or use Use the ambient light that's emitting from our electronics around us to help us see. But what if you lived in a world where the sun just couldn't reach you? A world that is in complete darkness. Yes, that world does exist and it's in the bottom of the ocean. Here's the thing, once you go below 100 meters deep, the ocean becomes so dark that it is impossible to see anything. That's because the water is so deep that even sunlight cannot reach the floor. So then, how do the sea creatures that live down there see anything? I mean, these creatures need to play the same predator and prey games that the land creatures need to play. But how do they do so if they're in complete darkness? And the answer to that will impress you. These creatures have a superpower, and that superpower allows them to make their own light. Yes, the bodies of these animals have the ability to make their own light and they use this light to illuminate this dark world that they live in. It's a very different world down there. And in this world, nearly every living creature emits some sort of a light or a flash, just about every single one of them. And the scientists who have had the privilege of studying the deepest, darkest parts of the sea have said that it looks a lot like rocket ships shooting around, like explosions of sparks and the spewing of blue smoke as far as the eye can see. The glowing light that illuminates from the bodies of these living things, scientists call this light bioluminescence. Bio meaning living and luminescence meaning light. Creatures that live in the deep dark ocean depend on this light for survival. Whether it's to catch a meal or to avoid being eaten, they need to be able to see the other organisms swimming around them. And so, these bioluminescent creatures have evolved to make their own light. But deep sea creatures aren't the only type of animal that have the ability to make their own light. Some land creatures have also been known to create their own light too. And you don't have to look much further than the firefly. One of the most spectacular things you could see at night is the brilliant light show that comes from a firefly hangout. Fireflies, which by the way are not flies but rather beetles, do not light up necessarily to see in the dark but rather they light up to communicate with one another. It's sort of how they talk. Males and females use their bright flashes to deliver romantic love signals to each other in order to find themselves a mate. They can't speak to each other using words so instead they speak to each other using flashing light signals. Other land critters like this millipede here 
glow to warn predators to stay away. I mean, would you eat a glowing animal? So there you have it. Light is all around us and it's essential for life on Earth. Go ahead and try to find as many sources of light around you as you possibly can. And if you found this video helpful, informative, and possibly illuminating, then please click like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any other questions, then please let me know.